The biggest compliment that you get from one of your colleagues, coworkers, is that at the end of the day, they say, hey, you know, Chief Roach is a good fireman. And, and I can say that he's a good fireman and better, th better than that, better yet, he's a good person. Chief's uh, leadership has meant a lot, not only to myself or the department, but the whole city. That's what he's brought to the department, trust, integrity, all those key words that he's part of that. He's been a great leader in pulling all of us together and making us work more efficiently together. The way he's leaving it is better than the way he inherited it, and that's what we all want to do in any position that we go to. He's always been there any time that I've needed someone to bounce things off of as far as a, a question, a project. He's always been there to listen, offer input when needed. He instilled that confidence and faith in me to where I was able to operate comfortably. Along the way, he offered guidance. He offered some mentorship, some uh, information and some insight that I probably would not have garnered otherwise. I think for me personally, I'm gonna miss most with Chief Rocha is uh, his ability to be very personal whenever he sees individuals, knowing their names and actually getting the opportunity to get to know them. Always being on uh, you know, the fire scenes, pretty much um, being a very uh, huge supportive role and leading when need to lead, um, I'm going to miss that. You've blessed myself and my family. Um, you've given me great advice. Um, I know you've done so much. It's going to be hard to duplicate um, what you've done and improved in this fire department, but we're going to do our best and we got it from here. Chief, uh, thank you for all you've done. I admire the way that you talk not only to the staff, but to the public. And uh, you're just a uh, genuine person, and I want to wish you good luck on your next adventure, and uh, we'll be thinking about you always. To Chief Rocha, I would tell him, I'm always going to be available for uh, horticulture, plants, lawn, landscape, you know, advice. I'm just down the street. I hope he uh, goes and enjoys his retirement and enjoys some South Texas baseball. He loves hitting a baseball game, so Hopefully you have a good time sitting out at some of those high school baseball games and maybe we'll see them out there. Thank you for everything you've done for all the citizens of Corpus Christi as well as uh, the fire department. And I just want to say uh, God bless you, your family, and your journey um, into retirement. There's so much that I've learned from him through this 10 years that I've been in the department. And uh, I'm just definitely grateful that I met him and all the advice that he's given me. We wish you the best of luck, and I know you're going to find something out there that's going to give you the drive of serving our citizens again in just a different capacity. So, best wishes. God bless. Well, he will very much be missed. Uh, he is always good for a joke, always good for a laugh. Very rarely that uh, when we're all together in a room that it's quiet, that just doesn't happen. So that camaraderie, that partnership, so to speak, will be something that's missed by everyone. Three lessons that I've learned from Chief Rocha. Lesson number one is always make the right decision, do what's right, even when it's hard, even when it's not popular. Lesson number two, especially when you're dealing with people, be benevolent. And the last one that's most important is that Rocha is a man of faith and his faith is omnipresent in his entire life and every decision that he makes. He'll be missed, but he, his impact is still here to stay. And to Chief Rocha, uh, you know, I love you, good luck uh, with, with your retirement and you deserve it.